all right and welcome back to some more mass effect everyone and actually have dark side liner here with me she is doing some homework but what what are you gonna do right <laughs> uh, life is unfair isn't it I'm here playing video games and she's doing homework. So let's actually upgrade some weapons. I actually want to upgrade the assault rifle. Yeah. But we need to get some more iridium. So then I'll upgrade the other weapons. Any messages? I saw the reports on Horizon, no. Commander. What you did was amazing. The report mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? Uh... I, I think it went pretty well. <laughs> it was good to see her. Do you have strong feelings for her? Mm, no. We had a job to do and we did it. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? How's the crew doing? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Too renegade for that. Uh, uh, okay. Nah, we don't need that. Let us go to Ilium and recruit our Jessica. We'll actually take a yeah. We'll still take Tally and Kasumi. I put on Skype for you, babe, but uh, my my laptop is very limited, so you know what you're gonna do. Um, I know this is your secret way of telling me you want that awesome computer. What? I I would never be so callous to do something like that. Well, power gun points are looking pretty good, so can't complain. Commander, a pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Mm. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual... Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Uh, no thanks. Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. Wait a minute. By the stars, your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics we'll have... to touch things up. I, I highly yeah. doubt... No, that you don't understand. Be. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It I believe I be have your trinket it's thingy. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. I found this. Excuse me, but I found a locket with a picture of a human and someone who looks like you. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Steve, oh. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you so much. 
my daughter was no, young no. when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. For the experience for that. And we got some money. Huh. All for returning some jewelry. Life is good. I need minimal heat increase. Tech damage. And speed. I have extremely high performance requirements. Uh, yeah, we want that. We definitely want that. Ilium is the gateway to the traverse. But is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are no Wait, am I going no I'm going the wrong way. I want to see if the arrow is actually in that. That would be that would be so nonsensical. Let me tell you. Don't disappoint me, game. Yeah, I was talking now. Jessica Samara, currently an alien for undisclosed business, likely related to her position as a Jessica. As a courtesy, Samara checked in with tracking officer Dara at the transportation hub upon arrival. Follow up, Dara may have more information on Samara's whereabouts. All right. Nevertheless, Ilium News is pleased to offer a special report on the history and current politics of this rare group. So let's head to the transportation hub. Transportation. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Carosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she li What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. I found your data. I overheard you talk. Is this the data you're looking for? The Carosa Generational Archive. You found it! Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. Hmm. Why were there no backups? If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Well, I'm glad I could help. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. Alright. This is... And we got some money. This is going quite well. Let's go to the transportation that way. And... Yeah, Tana looking for someone named Dara. Coming up later today, we release our annual list of Ilium's ten richest people. Are the heavens still bright as sorry blue? Or have the bolus finally rolled to the top? Trust me, the goods coming in from the terminus systems are great for business. Dara, I don't know. Dara. Some of this is more dangerous. That's the whole deal. point. Danger means more contract work for us. Weapons You're sure merchant. gateway weapons and armor are good enough for Eclipse? Yeah, I've got a friend in Eclipse. She told me what I needed to get. Assault rifle damage. We want that. <laughs> Heavy skin weave. And damage protection. We'll get those at some point. Good. I'm pretty good at bypassing firewalls. Blue Rose of Ilium. Leave eternity unembraced and grapple. Don't think I ever spoke to you. What do you want? <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Oh, uh. Blue Rose 
of Ilium. Let your roots he likes you? Into the, the Krogan is reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. Uh, reasons for breakup? Why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but for something permanent... Krogan's you know, long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century till they die. You have uh, no offense. I, I kind of take offense really to that, but okay. Me. Or if he just wants kids. <laughs> I don't have them any other way, you know. Because of the genophage. So let me get this straight. Because the guy is actually serious about being with you and having children, you want to break up with him? That make no sense. That make no sense. The bones of my ancestors. <sighs> what if he dies again and leave her for two years? What? No, it's not me. It's someone else. It could be the same situation. Oh, how the hell is it going to be the same situation? You don't know. Blue Rose of Ilium. Uh, Leave eternity unembraced and grapple in the glorious struggle right that is us, here and now. On who? I am speechless. On my Not own. with blood rage, but with love. <laughs> and I stand here, humble and Did huge. you talk to him? That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Nana sorry, don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA. We're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Char was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. Well, you should make a decision. You need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just going to keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Ah, let's help the brother out. I mean, anybody who's willing to recite poem in public for a girl, they you you deserve to give him that. Uh, yeah. You should take him back. Look at him. He's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby-making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him, so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I I guess I hadn't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, Shut if up. he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here, I've given you a discount at the terminal. Thanks for the help. I'm not getting sick. You do? What about you? Going to try and make it as a commando? Why not? Every Asari has biotics. What about a fish? She loves the garden. We could add a pond. She doesn't need a fish, Dad. It's Where's just, Dara? We're looking for weapons. Shouldn't I be taking this seriously? Hey, I'm sick. I'm telling you, relax. Vax will never notice a few missing pieces. No, I can't get in. Because it's a crime scene. It's all locked down. Eclipse mercs, some just a car, I don't know. Nobody is ever going to see the extra merchandise. Which is why we want to be rich. Hey, do you remember what we did before? Was I'm on a street? call. No. I, I can't remember. Oh, office of the oh, there no, she is. I haven't had any luck yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. I'm going to Shepherd. I I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it and saved me. I promised to help Zeus hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. The 
Are people in danger? Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again? Or did the Thorians somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Can I offer assistance? Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. Yes. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Not that I know of. A game of joke for sandwiches. Wait, that is a good question. Why are you green? Wait a minute. Shiela, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems I said were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died. My skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Uh, let me handle it. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. All right, well, we can talk to Dara and call it a video. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Can I ask you Wait, why? Do you have a problem or did she kill somebody already? Hmm. What? Hmm. What happened? Can I ask you a question? Sure. So, are you like reading out the dialogues or something? Yeah, it's easier for me to link my voice with the video when I read the dialogue. Okay. Well, go back and talk to your Dara. Uh-huh. Well, it sounds like this Samar is no joke because Dara is acting pretty scared right now I only want to talk relax I just need to speak with her good Samara is the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium if I'm lucky things will stay peaceful she went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago if you want to get there the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab just be polite when you meet her Justicars embody our highest laws and they usually stay in Asari space she's not used to dealing with aliens Where did she go? I'm looking for Samara. Like oh. I said, she's at the commercial spaceport. Okay, okay. You can hail a cab at the pedestal on that balcony over there. Uh, what we will do is end the video. So, thank you very much for watching, everyone. And we will see you all in the next video.